the hottest new phone line in the country is set to open from next week. A line that I feel will break records as the most called number in the country. As Andy Burnham, Mayor of Manchester, has announced a new victim support hotline to take calls from people who are unhappy with the way Greater Manchester Police is dealing with their reported crime. In the wake of a scathing report from Her Majesty's Inspectorate of Constabularies, over 80,000 crimes that were said to have been reported but not registered by the force. Andy Burnham said that the line, which will be operational from next week, would not be for reporting new offences, but would be a way of tracking complaints and will feed into planned improvements for the force as a whole. Which makes it honestly sound as though he is thinking of the victims of crime. But he went on to say that. During the period in question, the force was struggling with new COVID legislation and staff absence, as well as extra pressures in helping out with the general humanitarian response. Of course, making excuses for them. However, as I said in my video about this inspection, the period that they were looking at was from July 1st, 2019 to June 30th, 2020. Bearing in mind that police didn't start COVID patrol until March time this year, I can't see how this is an excuse for the first nine months of that 12 month period. Burnham said he was ultimately accountable for putting the situation right and that part of uh, that would come from the new hotline for the kind of people that Her Majesty's Inspectorate believe may be slipping through the net. He said, Until we've got all the internal actions in place, of course, we can't yet be fully confident that every victim of crime is getting the service that we want them to have. <laughs> Andy, mate, there is very few victims of crime getting the service they deserve, the service they pay for, and the service that they expect. And that's not just from Greater Manchester Police either. He said the hotline is a specific service for anyone in Greater Manchester who feels that their crime hasn't been properly recorded and they haven't been properly supported in making their report. It's an alternative route for people to go to if they feel the service has not been that it should have been. Greater Manchester Police are said to have already set up a gold command structure to oversee the improvements to the service with a task force sitting behind it, which includes a member of the mayor's office. So not only have 80,000 crimes already not been recorded after being reported, they now have to take more police away from active police work to clean up the mess their inactions have caused in the first place. Beverly Hughes, Greater Manchester's Deputy Mayor, trying to make excuses for Greater Manchester Police too, said that they had recently introduced COVID legislation to respond to, and that meant thinking about implementation, interpretation, training, right across the whole of the organisation a significant impact on the capacity of the whole of Greater Manchester Police by people having to self-isolate reduced capacity, particularly in the newly introduced Central Crime Recording and Resolution Unit. And at the same time as all of that, the impact on capacity and capability significantly increased demand in response to COVID-19 legislation. Adding that officer rest days and leave were also cancelled due to the pressures, but said that this isn't all to detract from the seriousness of which we regard this. So why bring it up then? It's called planting seeds. So there you have it folks, yet another gatekeeper to get through in order to have your police issue dealt with. First you have the 101 call handler or front desk staff to try and dissuade you from complaining. Then you have a police constable who wants to get you to stop before it reaches their sergeant. Then the sergeant who, if can't change your mind, has to send it either to an inspector or the professional standards department. Once they tell you that the police have done nothing wrong, you have the IOPC who will almost inevitably side with the police unless you have some damning evidence that can't be disputed. Although they would no doubt give it a good go. And Burnham's new hotline is simply another chain in the ever increasing line of defence against complaints. I can see them needing to hire far more staff for this little venture, though, as I reckon that phone will be ringing off the hook. Big thank you to channel supporters, especially these guys. Your support is truly appreciated. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts, as I know many of you will. And until next time, stay safe, look after each other, film the police and other officials.